Hello friends, I am Dr. Omar Malik and welcome to Math Simplified. I hope all of you are safe. In this short video, I will be talking about hemorrhoids commonly known as piles, which is a very common, painful and irritating disorder. Some sources say that around 60 to 70 percent of people will experience hemorrhoids at one point or another in their lives. And an estimated 1 in 20 Americans have symptomatic hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids affect people of all ages, genders, races and ethnicities and they also get more common as you age, affecting more than half of people over the age of 50. So let's first try to understand what actually are these hemorrhoids. Well, our rectum and anus have a rich supply of blood vessels and sometimes due to certain reasons which we will discuss further in this video, these veins get swollen and enlarged. These swollen and enlarged veins that form inside and outside the anus and rectum are termed as hemorrhoids. They can be painful, uncomfortable and can even cause bleeding. Hemorrhoids can happen inside or outside the rectum. The type depends on where the swollen veins develop. Based on this information, they can be internal, external or prolapsed hemorrhoids. In external piles, the swollen veins form underneath the skin around the anus. External hemorrhoids can be itchy and painful. Occasionally, they might bleed. Sometimes, they fill with blood and they can clot also. Although this is not dangerous, but it can result in a lot of pain, swelling and discomfort. Internal hemorrhoids consist of swollen veins that form inside the rectum. Your rectum is the part of the digestive system that connects the colon or the large intestine to the anus. Internal hemorrhoids may bleed, but they are usually not painful. Both internal and external hemorrhoids can prolapse, meaning they can stretch and bulge outside the anus. You may feel a mass coming out of your anus and causing discomfort. Just as the previous ones, these hemorrhoids may also bleed and cause pain. So, who are at a higher risk of developing hemorrhoids? Basically, anyone can get symptomatic hemorrhoids, even teenagers. You may be at a higher risk if you are overweight or obese. Pregnancy is also a risk factor for developing hemorrhoids. Poor dietary choices like eating a low fiber, high carb diet can lead to chronic constipation which is a very common risk factor for hemorrhoids. Habits like lifting heavy objects, spending a lot of time sitting on the toilet and straining while having bowel movements can also lead to development of hemorrhoids. Now let's talk about the signs and symptoms of hemorrhoids. Internal hemorrhoids rarely cause pain and typically can't be felt unless they prolapse. Many people with internal hemorrhoids don't even know they have them because they don't have symptoms. However, if you have symptomatic internal hemorrhoids, you might see blood on the toilet paper, in the stools or the toilet bowl. These are signs of rectal bleeding. In case of external hemorrhoids, symptoms may include an itchy anal area, hard lumps near the anus that feel sore or tender, pain in the anal region especially when you sit and rectal bleeding. Prolapsed hemorrhoids can be painful you may be able to feel them bulging outside the anus. Hemorrhoids can be uncomfortable and painful, but they don't tend to cause serious problems. Rarely, people with hemorrhoids can develop anemia, blood clots in the external hemorrhoids, infections in the hemorrhoids, and they can also develop skin tags in the anal region. Your doctor can diagnose hemorrhoids based upon symptoms and a physical examination. Some simple tests can also be done like digital rectal examination in which your doctor inserts a gloved lubricated finger into the rectum to feel for swollen veins. This helps in diagnosing the location and also testing the effectiveness of the current treatment. Anoscopy procedure can also be done in which your doctor uses an anoscope which is basically a lighted tube to view the lining of the anus and the rectum. Sigmoidoscopy or colonoscopy are advanced procedures in which your doctor uses a sigmoidoscope or a colonoscope which are basically lighted tubes with a camera that help to view the inside of the lower part of colon and rectum. 
These tests may be uncomfortable but they aren't painful. They typically take place in the doctor's office or outpatient center without anesthesia. You can also go home on the same day. They are important because these tests help your doctor to rule out dangerous problems mimicking hemorrhoids like cancers and inflammatory bowel diseases. Hemorrhoids often go away on their own without treatment. Symptoms like pain and bleeding may last one week or slightly longer. In the meantime, you can take these simple steps to ease symptoms and reduce the pain. You can apply over-the-counter medications containing lidocaine or hydrocortisone to the affected area, which helps in decreasing the pain. Drinking 2 to 3 liters of water every day helps in keeping the stools soft and prevents constipation. Similarly, increasing your fiber intake is one of the most important things you can do to treat hemorrhoids. Eat more fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Doing so softens the stools and increases its bulk. You can also take a fiber supplement to get 20 to 30 grams of fiber per day. To start, try a psyllium husk fiber supplement. If psyllium causes gas or bloating, try a supplement containing wheat dextrin or methyl cellulose. Sitz baths are very helpful for decreasing the symptoms of hemorrhoids. In a Sitz bath, you soak the inflamed area in water for about 10 to 15 minutes for 2 to 3 times a day. If you have chronic constipation, you can also try some laxatives to soften the stools. You can also take some over-the-counter pain relievers like acetaminophen, aspirin or ibuprofen to get relief from the pain associated with hemorrhoids. Don't sit too long or push too hard when you pass stools. Go to the toilet when the urge hits and don't delay bowel movements. Use toilet paper with lotion or flushable wet wipes to gently pat and clean your bottom after passing stools. This will provide comfort to your anal region and prevent any damage caused by rubbing. You can also use some topical treatments like over-the-counter hemorrhoid creams or suppositories containing hydrocortisone. Also, numbing agents like lignocaine gels may help in managing the irritation caused by hemorrhoids. You should consult your doctor if symptoms get worse or interfere with your daily life or sleep. Also, seek help if signs don't improve after a week of at-home treatments. If your issue still doesn't get resolved or some complications develop, advanced procedures to treat hemorrhoids can be done like rubber band ligation, electrocoagulation, infrared coagulation or sclerotherapy. Also, last resort surgical treatments include hemorrhoidectomy and hemorrhoid stapling. So I hope this short video was helpful and you gained some knowledge regarding this condition and how to manage it. You can also connect to us by joining our Instagram and Facebook pages. Links are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.